What's up, peeps? It's your man, Harkana Jala. I want to welcome you back to Black Boss Talk. This is a really grim and kind of shocking episode today. Uh, I want to tell you a story that's really unsettling, and I think that what's most unsettling about this is the fact that so many people apparently don't find it unsettling. But anyway, I woke up uh, this morning... And I'm, you know, just scrolling through a few things on Twitter, see what was going on early in the morning. And I come across an Instagram post with this picture on it. Um, it's a picture of Chrissy Teigen, John Legend's wife, who apparently was pregnant. I didn't even know she was pregnant. You know, I don't keep up with celebrities personal lives not really important to me but I'm looking at this picture and I'm just like what in the hell and let me preface everything I'm about to say in this story with this as I read along I see that apparently Chrissy Teigen has lost her child her and John Legend's child during childbirth now there is no pain that I can imagine that would be like that pain. And without a doubt, my condolences go out, my heart goes out in empathy to both Chrissy and John Legend. I can't imagine. I have four children. Um, I can't imagine what that pain would be like, but I know it would be excruciating. So I'm prefacing all of this with obvious condolences and my heartfelt empathy going out to them then I see that she's actually posted this message and I'm going to go ahead and read this because I need you to understand what's so unsettling about this whole thing and how this unsettling feeling really started to settle into the pit of my stomach the caption with this photo was we are shocked and in the kind of deep pain you only hear about the kind of pain we've never felt before we were never able to stop the bleeding and give our baby the fluids he needed, despite bags and bags of blood transfusions. It just wasn't enough. We never decide on our baby's names until the last possible moment after they're born, just before we leave the hospital. But we, for some reason, have started to call this little guy in my belly Jack. So he will always be Jack to us. Jack worked so hard to be a part of our little family, and he will be forever. To our Jack, she's writing this to her child that she just lost. I'm so sorry that the first few moments of your life were met with so many complications that we couldn't give you the home you needed to survive. We will always love you. Then she says, thank you to everyone who has been sending us positive energy, thoughts, and prayers. We feel all of your love and truly appreciate you. We are so grateful for the life we have for our wonderful babies, Luna and Miles, for all the amazing things we've been able to experience, but every day can't be full of sunshine. On this darkest of days, we will grieve, we will cry our eyes out, but we will hug and love each other harder and get through it. Now, again, my condolences go out to Chrissy and John and their whole family, but I want you to look at this picture. This picture she posted on Instagram. On Instagram, this looks like a picture and I could be reading it wrong, but it looks like a picture of her crying and maybe praying. I assume after she just found out that her child didn't make it. And if you're not grasping right now what's so unsettling about all this, then I'll just go ahead and ask the question any person with common sense would be asking. Why in God's name? Why the fuck would you post this on Instagram to the public? This is, I can't imagine many more private things than this in a horrific moment. I mean, first off, who in the fuck would even take this picture? Why would you want this picture of this grief? And then look, you know, people... Uh, can do whatever they want, takes all kinds, different strokes for different folks. 
Maybe there's some reason they would want this as a keepsake. I can't imagine why, but they have the right to do it. But it is odd. What is this? Maybe this is a still shot from video. I'm hoping nobody was sitting there snapping this photo. Say, oh, let me snap this photo. Of this moment? This is horrific. And, but look, again, it's their right to do so. But my God, I have to ask again, why would you post this on Instagram to the public? Chrissy Teigen has millions of followers, millions of strangers. She doesn't know. Why would you post this picture and this heartfelt private outpouring of from your heart to your son who just died during or after childbirth? Why would you post that most private thing on Instagram for the world? Is this content? Now, look, I understand some people may say, well, you know, they're just sharing you know, helping people get past and uh, look, okay. But again, I have to ask folks, is this just content for your gram feed? Now, look, whatever the details are, I mean, this really shook me up and it shook me up for this reason, whatever the details are for them personally, this is what we have to come to terms with and just acknowledge people. And it's important that we acknowledge this because if you've watched the Netflix documentary, the social dilemma recently, and if you haven't seen that, go watch it immediately. It will explain to you what social media is really doing to us as human beings. I've been saying this for the last year to everybody. I know I believe thoroughly with all my heart, social media is the most destructive force, potentially destructive force, maybe in human history that we have unknowingly and by accident unleashed upon ourselves. It is the literal and, and, and just the proverbial Pandora's box that we've opened and now I don't think we can close it we opened it without really knowing what was inside and now it's been unleashed upon us without any way of stopping it and we have become addicted to it we become slaves to it it is telling us what we believe it is crafting our opinions it is influencing and creating our actions and if you think I am this is hyperbole or I'm overstating this go watch the social dilemma and you will see how social media often not even humans in the algorithms behind social media the artificial intelligence intelligence algorithms that run social media and determine what pops up on your feeds is doing this to influence your thinking, your beliefs, your actions, all for the sake of profit, because it wants you to stay on its, it wants you to stay on the social media platform as much time, as much for as much time as possible. And the reason for that is one reason and one reason only. So it can sell you to advertisers and those advertisers can be advertising whatever product service they want and for whatever purposes they want so they may be trying to sell you soap or shoes they may be trying to sell you a uh, political candidate they may be trying to sell you an ideal that can lead to the destruction of humankind folks this is proof positive that shit has gone too far. We've gone too far with our investment in social media. When we feel that we need to post private, horrific moments like this, 
whether it's for good purposes, maybe the intentions are good, or even for the most cynical purpose, which is, hey, this is just content, more content to get more likes, views, and increase our level as fluencers, our, our, I'm sorry, our status as influencers, because attention on social media makes you an influencer, and being an influencer on social media is incredibly profitable. People will pay for your influence. So again, I don't know Chrissy Teigen or John Legend personally. They seem like good people from what I've seen. I will give them the benefit of the doubt that they are good people. And maybe this wasn't a cynical grab for attention. But even if it wasn't, this is misguided. This is not for the public consumption of strangers. This is bordering on creepy pain porn almost you know like i want to just see horrific stuff i'm a voyeur i just want to see inside the life of the most horrific moments of people's life this is this is this ain't right as my grandmother would say this ain't right folks you gotta back up off of social media unplug your life your personal life cannot be 100% for sale and consumption to strangers, to the public, to anybody who just follows you on Instagram. We got to do better, folks. We got to do better. Like I said, go watch The Social Dilemma so that you can see what's really at stake. It's not just people becoming unbalanced and unhappy because of social media use. This shit is a threat to all of our actual existence, much less our mental health. Go watch that. Again, my condolences go out to Chrissy Teigen and John Legend. But you know what? I have no right nor need to see this, to be given access this deeply inside your personal lives. Please think about this. And my God, for your son who passed away, if he's looking down on this, I doubt if he's feeling thrilled that this was put on display on the gram. I will see y'all in the next one. I really want to hear your thoughts. Am I off base on this? Am I missing something? You agree with me? You disagree? When we talk about Black Boss Talk, this is, you know, really looking at things from an enlightened perspective but a realist perspective. So give me your thoughts. Make sure you hit the bell so that you can subscribe and get all our content. Share this video, comment below. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.